Okay, so we're taking another look at logarithms. Now, last time we were working on logarithms, we uh, just kind of decided what they were and we talked about how to write them and what that means as far as an exponent is concerned. Uh, but now what we're going to look at is how to evaluate them. Now, we looked at some basics, like if we wanted to do, say, log base 2 of 8, and we were asking what exponent did we raise 2 to get 8. Well, raise 2 to the third power to get 8. Well, what if I want to do something a little more complex, like what power did I raise 2, excuse me, 6, to get 12? Well, that's not an integer. That's going to be a decimal for sure, because if I raise it to the first power, I get 6. But if I raise it to the second power, I get 36. So the answer's got to be somewhere between 1 and 2, but I don't know exactly where. So I need to find another way to evaluate them. Now, before calculators came around, you actually had to look it up in a book. It was like a dictionary for the logarithms. Unfortunately, they came up with calculators and came up with better ways. The bad news is, if we look at a calculator, but if we look at the TI-84 that we have, okay, there's a log button here, or if we look at the calculator built into most desktops, there's another log button here. But the catch is, those are both log base 10. So let's say I have 100. I know log base 10 of 100 would be 2. Well, that's what I get right here. So I need to find another way to do it. Okay, I need to find another way to get logarithms. Now, good news for us, okay, this log, like I said, it'll only do log base 10 of whatever you type in. Okay, this is what's called common logarithm. So if you ever hear the phrase common logarithm, they're saying log base 10. Now, good news, you got some really smart mathematicians that have been around for a while. And they came up with a formula that we can still use to evaluate logarithms, whether we want to use on a calculator or the old school dictionaries of logarithms, we can use those. This is what's called the change of base formula. Now, the change of base formula works like this. Let's say I have log base B of A, okay, but my calculator will only do log base 10. Here's what we do. We do log base 10 of A, and we divide that by log base 10 of B. Okay, so here's how this formula works. Number one, we're going to use the common log for both. So log base 10 of A, log base 10 of B. Okay, with the big number, which, which is what's called the argument of a logarithm on top. So this A was the big number. That's going to go on top of this expression. Okay, and then the B goes on the bottom. Okay, now it looks like a big scary formula, but it's really not so bad. Okay, so if I want to do log base 6 of 12, I'll do log base 10 of 12 divided by log base 10 of 6. Okay, so I'll go to the calculator, and I'll use this guy for this one, and I want to do, first of all, I turn it on, okay, and I'll do log, now it doesn't have anything here, it just says log. It's called the common logarithm because it gets used all the time. And if it's the one that gets used all the time, we don't actually need to write that little 10. And the calculator doesn't, the calculator just says log. Now I wanna take log base 10 or just log of 12. Now notice how when I push that log button, it automatically opens up this set of parentheses. After I'm finished typing in that argument, I need to make sure that I close those parentheses. So I've got log of 12, and I'm going to divide that by the log of 6. Okay, I close those parentheses as well. So double check, make sure we have what we want. Log of 12, yep, and log of 6, yep, looks good. Press equals, and I get the answer of about 1.387. Someone's going to say, well, this says 386. You look at the digit after it, that's an 8, so we round that 6 up, 1.387. Okay, and that is about what we get for our answer. Okay, so we'll circle our final answer here. There we go. Okay, now let's do it again. Let's do it for the second one here. I want log base 9 of 1043. So first thing I'll do, I'll take log base 10 or just log of 1043. So log automatically opens up that set of parentheses, 1,043, close those parentheses, okay, and I want to divide that by log base 10 of 9, okay, remember the big number, the argument goes on top, 
the little number, that base, goes on the bottom. Okay, so this guy goes up top here, and this one goes on the bottom here. Make sure that we have exactly what we want typed in here, so log of 9, log of 1043 divided by log of 9, and we get log of 1, excuse me, approximately 3.163. And there we go. Okay, now that really, guys, that's all there is to it. Whatever is the argument of the logarithm that you're trying to, that you're trying to evaluate, that goes on top. Whatever is the base of the logarithm you're trying to evaluate, that goes on the bottom. Okay, and then you just make sure that you use the common logarithm for both of them. Type it into the calculator exactly as you see it. Press equals. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more. So if I have log base 8 of 15, okay, first, what would I want to type in? Which one of these two goes on top, the 8 or the 15? I know it's going to be log base 10, okay, for both of them. Or I could even just say, I wanted to simplify it a little bit. Oh, there's your answer right there. I could just say log. Now, because the 15 is the argument of the logarithm, it's a big number. That one goes on top. And the 8, the base of the logarithm, goes on the bottom. So I do log of 15 divided by log of 8. Okay, close the parentheses, press equals, and I get about 1.302. There we go. Now, just to show you how important these parentheses are, let's say I do this again. I do log of 15 but I forget to close those parentheses, and I just go ahead and divide by log of 8. Okay, and then I'll close those ones. If I do that, I get a different answer. Okay, and it's not that different. Okay, you might say it's only off by 0.1. That can be pretty significant difference if you're talking about different numbers. Okay, for instance, let's come back up here and look at this guy. So let's say I do log of 1043 divided by log of 9, and I don't close those parentheses. I'm careless. Look at this answer. Well, I guess that's not all that different either. Um, the key is, guys, the answers are different. Okay, Those numbers do make a big difference for us, so we need to make sure that we have the right number typed in in the right place. Okay? Make sure that the parentheses are closed where they need to be. Order of operations is always going to play an important role, and we can't change that now. Okay, So make sure when you type this into the calculator, you put the parentheses where they belong. So if I want to evaluate this guy, okay, log base 2.68 of 6.61.7. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, it's going to be log base 10 for both of them, or I could even just type log. Okay, but which one of those is going to go on top? 2.68 or the 61.7? It's going to be the 61.7. Okay, the argument of the logarithm goes on top. The base of the logarithm goes on the bottom. Okay, so I go over to the calculator, I'll type those in. Let's see, log of 61.7. Now make sure you close those parentheses. We need to make sure that we do that. And we'll divide that by the logarithm of 2.68. Okay, and we close those parentheses as well. And we get about 4.182. Now let's see if this is if this makes a big difference without those parentheses. Let's see, log of 61.7. Don't close the parentheses because we're trying to do something wrong here to prove that it makes a difference. Divided by log of 2.68. Okay, now this time it is quite different. Okay, the 2.158, 4.182. Those are pretty different answers. Now, guys, it's really, really important that when we type in our logarithms, it automatically opens up this parenthesis. We need to make sure that we close it right here. This answer is correct. This answer is incorrect. So make 100% certain that you type those parentheses where they belong. Okay, now, guys, that's the change of base formula. The calculator only does log base 10 and actually does some other stuff. We'll talk about that later. Uh, so make sure that when you are trying to evaluate these logarithms, you're not just typing log of 12. Okay, You have to use this change of base formula. So log base 10 of 12 divided by log base 10 
of 6. The big number, the argument, goes on top. The little number, which is called the base, goes on the bottom. Make sure you close the parentheses where they belong. The calculator will do most of the work for you. All right, guys, there's going to be an assignment on Teams. There will also be another video coming up later this week and a quiz on Friday. Make sure that you get all those things done. If you have any questions, email me, please, or you can use the chat feature in Teams. One way or another, make sure you get your questions answered.